What's Cooking? I'm Emily from the Boca Voice, and today we're at Taverna Opa in Delray Beach. We'll be meeting with Sophia and Yanni, owners and husband and wife of this amazing restaurant, to find out more about one of the only family-owned restaurants on the Ave. Let's check it out. So my husband and I met 22 years ago, um, just through the Greek community. We're both Greek, both raised with Greek from Greek families. And so right when OPA was starting, we, that's when we met right before that. So we've both been involved in developing and, um, and through the years, just being a part of the OPA brand. So it's really special to us right now that we are owners of this location and um, we are able to just to continue the legacy. So as head chef, can you tell me more about where your love of cooking came from and where you learned everything? It started with, back it started with my grandmother first. Um, I'm from a very small village out in Corinth, a little outside, I'm in the mountains, you know, covered by grapes and olives everywhere. That, that's my aroma when I woke up in the morning. And I would go there every summer. My parents always, you know, made, did the right thing. We always brought it to Greece, wanted to keep the culture and everything. And first, uh, during the afternoons in Greece, everybody sleeps. So the women of the house would always, you know, prepare for the evening. And being that we were farmers, we would always have a meal to go and then the dinner. So we would, I learned from a clean stone stove, an outdoor stove. And my mother was the real person that taught me the flavor. And with the flavor, just like my house here, she never changed. She went from a village in Greece to Florida, and she still grew her own peppers, her own onions, her own tomatoes. Everything was in her backyard. She would never do anything store-bought. There was never any recipes. It's always like, it's one handful of this or one cup of that. You know, it's, no, it's just it's mama's hand. Whatever mama's hand is, that's, that's the measuring cup. And I, I learned from that, and I learned how things, she goes, it's not how things are written out on the paper, it's how things are presented on a plate. And that was my transition from, you know, the kitchen to the floor. My mother would always be, you know, how is everything? How, you know, she wanted to make sure that the tables are always set. So our customers here, it's almost like I'm having a Sunday dinner every day. I want to, I go from the kitchen to the floor, how is everything? I want to make sure that my, you know, the customers are not clients, but they're extended family. How my door would always be, always be open at my house. And it's, uh, it was nice. That, that's what I really got from my mother and my grandmother. Authenticity and tradition sound to be incredibly important to this restaurant. Absolutely. Everything that we have in-house is from Greece. The olive oil is from Greece, the sea salt from Greece, everything we have imported, our, our, our vinegar, our red wine vinegar, everything is from Greece. Being that we were kind of the pioneers of Greek restaurants for 20 years we've been down here, we were able to grow and evolve and the market has grown as well that we're able to directly import things now from Greece and keep it as traditional and as authentic and as we dine and have everything prepared back at home. This dish right here is a lavraiki, also called the bronzino, the Mediterranean sea bass, it has so many AKAs to it. But this is how we prepare it, it's a simply grilled fish. So being as traditional as we are, everything is served head to tail. So you can either try to fillet it, it's like almost surgery at one point, or you can dive right in. So when I tell people to fillet it themselves, because they want to have a little bit more intake, a little more mm. participation and playful, I always tell people, I'll start with the sides. And what you do, you cut off the dorsal fin over here. And then, start with the bottom, very simple. And you just spread it apart. You can see everything just falls off. That's the preparation. The key to know if a fish is properly prepared or cooked properly is how the bones go, and also if the head just turns, which okay. it does. So the, the head just turns right off, and then you cut down the middle. Cut over here, and then you flip. That's way less complicated than I think I had, um, <laughs> you had set thought off, about it when approaching this. Greek wine is delicious, and I'm not just biased, but it actually is. <laughs> This is from the island of Santorini. Santorini produces the best Greek white wine around. And that's because of the lava rock, that's the way it's set up, the sunset, the sea salt. This is from the Gavalis Winery. It is my favorite Greek uh, white wine, and it's very soothing. It's great accompaniment with the bronzino. So in Greece, we say something and we cheers. Okay. You're gonna say yamas. 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 Okay. So, yamas. yamas. If you are looking for an authentic Greek dining experience and want to save yourself a 12-hour flight to Greece, come on down to Taverna Opa here in Delray Beach and come be a part of the family.
Welcome to our family. Yamas. Yamas. Yamas.